flew to Florida to race Travis Pastrana and Cletus McFarland in the Freedom 500 for the chance to win a helicopter. But first, we had to stop and check out one of our original inspirations for our YouTube channel. Behind me is the world's fastest MR2 and the world's fastest NSX in the quarter mile. And in front of me is the man who created them. What's up, guys? Meet Kyle Wade. He built a successful YouTube channel building really fast Hondas, street racing them, and this shopping cart go-kart. While we're in Florida, there's a ton of cool people building really cool stuff here. And this one is super special because we're at Boosted Boys Compound, and this is their uh, 450 shopping cart go-kart that was actually a big part of the inspiration for our original Barbie Mustang build that started our channel. Got a turbo on it with fuel injection, knockoff turbo. Um, I was talking to Kyle about it a minute ago and he said, yeah, they're pretty much disposable, which has been my experience as well. Um, <laughs> it's just, you know, it's like an oil change. You'd, every time you do an oil change, you do a turbo swap. But the screen up here that runs the whole fuel injection system, which is very cool. And that's part of how he was able to make it actually work is the fuel injection. Also another key factor is this intake plenum which uh, everything from my understanding of, of turboing single cylinders is something you need. That just helps uh, give it sort of a, a little bit of volume for the boost to build up between cylinder strokes. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but it works. And you said you haven't had a out for a while, right? Yeah, she's been a little neglected, I can't lie. <laughs> I'm just happy you guys are here, so. Yeah, we're Had to pull to out here. the shopping go kart, of course. But that is possibly the shortest chain I've ever seen to a jack shaft. Yeah, the jack shaft is, it's a feat of engineering. Yeah. yeah. I impress myself sometimes, but no, that, <laughs> the, chain, the chain comes off sometimes, yeah. so. So I'm sure you're familiar with like the shifter. For us, it's one forward yeah. and the other five or four are back. Right. And this thing gets a little like sticky. Before, like it would, it would pop a good little wheelie in the lower gears, but with the turbo, every gear shift is just just yanking the front end off the ground. Nice. It was making some power. <laughs> Let's see it. cars and it's like nice street. I like Florida. Florida hits a little different. It does. We got to come here more often. Yeah, we really do. I wouldn't want to live somewhere without mountains and snow, but I could get used to coming here every once in a while. She's something. Yeah. What is this doing for like crank sensor and stuff? So it's reading, it has a factory, basically a factory signal wire for- For the, for the coil. Yeah, so on the just coil, reading so it's that. just reading right from that. Which for a single cylinder, that's all you need. Yeah, that's you all I need. You don't have a, the, yeah. The last thing we need to get done on is the rectifier because it's not charging. Oh, right now yeah. I'm just driving it on straight battery power. Gotcha. We tried to put one on there, but it wasn't working right, and we just never really sat around to get it done. Makes sense. But yeah, and everything's through here, so it even starts. That through. is, I'm gonna. Oh, well, right here. Should be new yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 
was expecting boost to be where it's at, so the fuel's just all messed up, plus that injector being gummed up. <laughs> you just not make it very much down low right now. <laughs> Your neighbors complain, we're a lot further away from our neighbors than you are. Yeah, these neighbors like us, these neighbors are brand new. I haven't heard from them yet, so. Hey, that's That could good. be a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> they either don't want to talk to us because they don't like us or they don't care. They don't care. What's your record on this one? This one has been a 759 at 192 in the quarter. Wow. <laughs> Just a little four banger. <laughs> So it's like 2350, no driver, 25 with me in it. Has a nice smell to it too. Yeah, nice little race gas situation. Yeah, we run this one on a fuel called Ignite Red. It's like a E90. It smells really nice. Really oh my God. <laughs> I was saying I didn't want to move to like not ruin your shot. <laughs> <laughs> Just from a little idle. Are you going first or am I going first? I'll go first and assess. All right. Okay. Fair enough. She let you know if it's safe enough. Yeah. <laughs> Is it the world's fastest van? It's the fastest Honda Odyssey in the world, if you want to still classify it as a Honda Odyssey. But oh, okay. even when it was the Tesla without the Odyssey body on it, we also broke the record for the fastest Tesla in the quarter mile with it because it was so light. <laughs> so do with, do with what you want with that information, you know? Oh my god, it's so funny. This is probably safer than any machine on Ethan's property, if you oh, think about it. Of course, <laughs> but that's not a very tough line to transcend, you know? <laughs> you know? She didn't want me to go in too fast, but I think after she feels it one time. She'll want more, yeah. yeah. She'll be like, oh yeah, let's do it. just go, go faster, do it again. That was fun. <laughs> Good luck. <Okay. laughs> So you have a four-point harness. I only have this because we were required to for the racetrack. Okay. It normally has that seat, which I'd much rather have because that one has AC and heated seats and it's much more comfortable. That's heated, oh yeah. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Normal Teslas are really unassuming because they don't make any noise. That thing does not look like a race car or sound like a race car. It's probably the most unassuming thing here. How did you come up with this idea? We built that other one, right? Mm -hmm. And it got to the point to where it was really loud and not really a sleeper anymore. It wasn't right. stealthy enough. Yeah. And I found out that the Tesla had the same wheelbase, which is the distance between the center of each wheel. So the, the wheel arches would line up perfectly if we just put the body on to the meant Tesla. To be. It was just meant to be. <laughs> meant to be. Meant to be. strip mode right now. Okay. So you see how I have this animation going on? When I launch it, you'll get all this crazy graphics. <laughs> I have the picture down. of the rocket too. Yep. All right, you ready? All right, let's do it. is glued to my spine. <laughs> I, I might have gotten like a facelift out of just being here. 
It's awesome. Right. Have fun. You feel like such a gangster <laughs> driving a Tesla inside of a giant pitbull. Yeah. <laughs> oh, holy crap! <laughs> oh, that is awesome! <laughs> I think all the stuff fell out of my pockets. <laughs> Can you imagine how fast those cars are? The MR2 is a full two seconds faster than that. Wow. That is insane. I really want to know what that feels like. Now I'm going to have to build a drag car. Yep. <laughs> I think it would do well for you guys. That'd be cool. Yeah, it would be super cool. Between coming to Florida for the Freedom 500 and picking up Humvees in California, we've been on the road a lot lately. So we've been keeping our data and privacy safe using Surfshark VPN. A VPN, which stands for Virtual Private Network, keeps you safe and private by covering up everything you do online. When your device connects to the internet, all your information is encrypted. So anyone who tries to snoop on you can't see what you're doing or where you're doing it from. Using a VPN is kind of like wearing pants. When you go outside, all the important stuff stays private and secure. With a VPN, you can virtually travel the world by changing your IP address to any country you like. So you can get access to movies and shows on streaming services that may not be available where you live. Or for online shopping, you can access deals on places like Amazon or AliExpress that may not be available in your country. Surfshark even has a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you don't like it, you get your money back. So secure your privacy now with Surfshark and enter code GHPC to get three months extra for free at surfshark.deals slash GHPC. Now back to Florida because I've got a race to win against Travis Pastrana and a bunch of other cool dudes. We just has a little tiny jet boat just like ours. We gotta, we gotta talk him into building it so we can race. That's a real quiet car. So <laughs> stealthy. You know, yeah. You make it's it in and out of places. No one really knows. a sleeper, honestly. <laughs> yeah, we use it to uh, do like bank heists and stuff. Uh-huh. Oh. We're getting our Valiant Steed number 623 prepped for battle. And uh, as you can see, Hurt decided he wanted a pink car too. So. We got some upgrades to make ours stand out. But most importantly, we got these. Who do you think we should put them on? Wow, that's a lot bigger than it looks in the pictures. <laughs> <laughs> well, it gotta show up on camera, man. That is the actual dream color, dream camper color. Yeah, it's got a slight bit more green than the actual one, I think, but it really works on this car. We finally completed the original goal, a real race car with Grind Hard Plumbing Co. on the side of it. That was the dream from the beginning. And that is why we chose this name. Isn't it funny? A racing from the company? 170,000. No, 169,000. That's important to note, I guess. It's important. <laughs> that thousand miles makes a big difference. I believe you have a 308 rear with limited slip. Woo! Ooh, I like to hear that. It's not what you want. Oh, it's not? Oh, no. Limited slip sounds good. That's good though. 308, too, too low, so, or I mean too high gearing. It don't matter. Yeah. I, I talked to the guy that built these cars and he said that most of them are 327 limited slip. He says he's pretty sure there's no 373s in here. Yeah, it's rare as him, Steve. But he says that, well, he said he didn't think there was any 308s, but we just found one. This one right here. I think Donut says two then. It just means you're not going to be revving as high, which means your engine's going to be cool. It's exactly. Not gonna be hey. 
DeBerti won twice in a 308 car. See, I told you it was a good, good so news. So it don't matter. Yeah. It's, it's like, <laughs> it's like, like Mario a... Kart, the last five laps, yeah. anything can happen. All sorts of so people have won from all yeah. sorts of different levels of competition. That's cool. Which makes it really fun and interesting. It's such a blast out there. Cause like, you're going around a corner and there's Travis Pastrana and then there's gonna be Tanner Faust and you're like, why am I here? This is weird, you know what yep. I mean? <laughs> And then there's gonna be us. <laughs> yeah. The amateur you class. You bring the yeah. beard action. We do, we, I mean, collectively here, we do bring the beards. We do. Beard game's pretty strong. Yeah. I gotta pick up my mustache. Hair game, bit. not so good. That's all right, the beard oh, makes up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll represent the hair game. Do you want oh. me to do that? Jeez, Jeez, look at how that. old are you? Look at that, that's amazing. Matt, how old are you? <laughs> I think I'm 47. 47. I'm 33. Oh, well you're doing good. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> That looks fire. Tell us until after we qualify if he's going to switch the grid or not. So, like, you got some yeah, guys I have to that. see where I qualify. And, and then, oh. <laughs> hey, listen, you know, maybe I am, maybe I'm not, but. So, yeah, and everyone cool. gives you, a, you know, you've won your race, I think, twice now, right? Yeah. But. Everyone gives Cletus a hard time, but he literally had the slowest car last year. Like, I didn't feel like I had a great car, and I went by him on the straightaway. Like, he was sitting still, and then he won. It was so, it was so disappointing luck, for me. A lot of luck. <laughs> uh, we'll see how she does tonight. Yeah, we're ready. Happy birthday, Cletus. Happy birthday. Jackson, Keaton, Tim, BJ, and Heavy D. That's a really bad group. <laughs> That's a really bad group. These are 4,000 pound missiles, right? They don't stop on a dime. So if you just spin some dude out intentionally and another dude blasts him, I mean, it's just not, it's not how we roll, okay? I'm all about rough racing. Don't do anything super stupid, okay? Also- Hold on, I got a question. If there's someone that you can't get around and, and you just you, you slide them sideways, but then you slide them back straight. Is that considered a pit maneuver or is that, is that, is that clean? I, that's, I just consider, that's considered a rubbing. Rubbing okay, crazy. I'm just, I'm just rubbing crazy. Sense. Not a demolition derby. Where's Dave? Did Heavy D already leave? <laughs> <laughs> this is not a demolition derby. This is a race. All right, Robin's racing, but it ain't a demo derby. That's it. All right. Robin in a derby is very Yeah. I feel excited. I, I feel good, right? You feel yeah, good? I feel good. Yeah. What? When you win the helicopter, what are you? What are you gonna do with it? Uh. Well, you said you're a pilot, so. Uh, oh, I'm, I'll, I'll get I'm not. I was just I was quoting uh, a, 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 a movie that I know. It says, yeah. I'm a pilot. I'm fly. I don't know. Yeah, I'll fly. It. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. We're gonna go for a ride. I was just gonna say, I'm so excited that no one's taking that off. <laughs> that makes me very happy. I feel so official. You are. Yeah. You're really racing in a real race suit. With racing shoes. This is funny, this is your first time having like this kind of protection. And this is the safest thing you've ever done. Oh, by far. <laughs> like this is a real roll cage. Yeah. With duct tape on? What's that from? I don't know. Gotta ask questions. <laughs> oh, that might be original from the wiring or something. Oh, I it see. It looks like it's been on there for all of time. Yeah, it really does. So, original cord duct tape. Possibly. I bet you that'll stay on for qualifying.
qualifying toward the back of the pack, but we've heard so many stories about people coming up from the back and winning this thing. We really weren't worried about it, and we really wanted to win that helicopter. So I was just about to pack up my camera and go switch out Ethan's GoPro batteries when the cameraman next to me said, wait, you're gonna wanna see this. And what I saw was some of the most wild racing I've ever seen. Next up was Cletus McFarland's birthday celebrations, and have you ever seen monster trucks on pavement before? Well, we heard the announcer, apparently I got 18th qualifying, which doesn't sound super amazing, but considering I've never driven here before, I'll take it. Really solid, and he said that you were his favorite of the category? What does uh, that The mean? cars, no, he just said he, uh, it was his favorite car. Oh, like Beautiful. he likes the car the best. It's those blue wheels. <laughs> it's the blue wheels. And the premium on the wing. <laughs> Absolutely. first spin out of the race, giving us our first position. And shortly after, our first pass on track was against the double zero car right here. The next main event was us getting a little too close to Jeremiah from Donut. Sorry about that, buddy. gearing was really hurting us on the race restarts. Here you can see Whistlin getting his place back easily after a caution, sending us to the back of the pack.
super fun watching Ethan be neck and neck with BJ Baldwin for so many laps as he is a real championship winning off-road racing driver. few laps, Ethan worked his way to the middle of the pack, went a little too hot, and got our first wall tap of the night. We lost a position here, but managed to keep enough speed to not do too much damage. up to Jeremiah and passed him on track fair and square this time. spin out of his own race and rejoin us at the back of the pack, which was quickly followed by one of the first major accidents of the night. My favorite parts of the night ended up being watching Ethan make last minute decisions when accidents happened in front of him. Having never raced before, I think he did a really good job here. Cletus had a phenomenal restart, made his way from the back of the pack right on our tail, and it was super fun watching Ethan go head to head with Cletus McFarland on his own racetrack. Start, group the pack together, and this is where things got personal with Cletus McFarlane. And then a few laps later, we actually got the lead back on him. And then there was another caution because Roman Antwood took a spin into the wall. After the race restart, we were just swapping positions with Cletus. We were neck and neck for what seemed like forever.
the end of the day, Cletus is here to throw on a good show, so he isn't going to let someone take him out without some repercussions. <laughs> Under caution, he basically spun Ethan out of the race, but it was all in good fun. Running with Cletus, the rest of the race seemed to resemble more of a demolition derby than a race, and it was a lot of fun. Just like that, lap 98 out of 100, we were out of the race right before, for me, the scariest crash to watch. Derek got spun out, and from my angle, it looked like he was headed a lot faster towards that cement barrier. Diesel ended up taking the win and the crowd went nuts. I, I like to note there was eight cautions and you were involved in six. I know, <laughs> I know. I had a good time. I had some spectacular crashes. Actually, I crashed a lot of times for only crashing once, if you know what I mean. So. That pinchy were, one back there was fun. In, you were third yeah, you were third <laughs> I caused a few too. Yeah, yeah, well, sorry about the car, Cletus, but thank you so much for the truly awesome opportunity. And we're giving away the opportunity to own an Arc Droid, an Everlast Welder, and this Drift Quad. Every $5 spent on our website gets you an entry to win. Check it out right now at grindhardplumbingco.com.
Yeah. Nice. 